tonight's guest VJ Hour is sponsored by Michelob and by Showtime. Hi, I'm Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull. Remember me? Of course you do. I'm standing here in Central Park in front of the strangely erotic Belvedere Castle, which looks a little bit like my place at home. Well, in fact, it doesn't. Mine's painted white. For the next hour or so, we're going to be wandering around the park, seeing the sights and talking to some people, and I'll be playing you some of my favourite videos. The first is from a bunch of really old codgers, resurrected from the grave. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grateful Dead with a touch of grey. <laughs> Hi, we're back. Ian Anderson again. Now, some of you probably know me best as a flute player. Let's see if some of these other people do. Follow me. That ring any bells? Yeah, it rings a bell. It rings a bell. Hi, give, it, give me another clue. Give it, who am I? Give me another clue. Wait, wait. No? No? Never mind, never mind. I'm Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull. Very pleased to meet you. How Who are you, you sir? How do you do? And your good lady? Where are you from? How do you do? Where you I'm from? all the way from England. England? We're going to London. Uh, Terrific. Have a wonderful time. The weather's going to be foul. It's always dreadful there. We, we go there every year. Do you really? September, London. October. Have you ever heard of a band called Jethro Tull? Yes, yes. That's very sweet of you to say so. They're terrible. They're terrible. Listen, I'll play one of my videos now. This is a song called Aqualung, live in concert. Hi, that was me and the boys doing Aqualung. Me in my white suit, a very impractical garment. In fact, I hated it. I don't care if I never see that white suit again. Now, they call this place Turtle Lake. Does that mean, I ask myself, that they catch turtles in here? Let's go and find out. Hi, boys. Hi. How you doing? And what are you catching in here today? Sometimes, um, sunnies, fish, bat, yeah. And turtles? Yeah. Turtles? Yeah, turtles too. Turtles too? Oh, fantastic. Can you catch me a turtle now? Yeah, we'll try. try. Great. Do you do this professionally or is this just a hobby? Uh, not really. I mean, you don't get paid for it or anything? No. No? Can you eat these fish? No. Are they pretty horrible? It's kind of dirty, you know. Yeah. I farm salmon. It's really exciting. Do you catch salmon in here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Big ones? Yes. Like wow. Yes. Well, we'll leave you to catch some salmon or turtles. But we have to break right now for this message. We'll be back soon. Hi, you're back with Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull in New York City. You know, it's only appropriate in this age of conspicuous relaxation of east-west tensions that they should have seen fit to erect this wonderful statue to commemorate the resurrection of the Polish heavy metal rock star here in Central Park. What a splendid beast. Resplendent in his finery and high upon his pedestal. You know, I always wondered what the lead singer from Judas Priest did on his day off. Joe, my boy. Joe, you've got a wonderful radio control car here. Can you show me how it works? Sure. Wow. Oi! And it, oh, yeah, goodness me, it goes. So can you use it to chase young ladies and dogs and... That's an amazing thing. Terrific. Well, it's certainly scaring the hell out of her, isn't it? And she knew it was coming. That's very, very impressive, Joe. Very impressive indeed. Listen, have you heard of a band called World Party? I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe you heard of... Well, listen, they're one of the more intelligent rock bands around, and we're going to see their video now. Great. World Party with Ship of Fools. Great. <laughs> Dad, 
was the Jay Giles band with Freeze Frame. We're going to move right along now to an old codger like myself and the Grateful Dead. He's been with us for a while, but richly deserving the fame that he now enjoys and combining this with his propensity for sharp dressing and surrounding himself with delectable young ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Palmer with Addicted to Love. Back with Ian Anderson of Jethro Hotel on MTV, and that was Stevie Winwood with Higher Love, the man who never ages. Well, this is certainly a wonderful way to spend the evening here in Central Park. I look as if I do this sort of thing all the time, and of course I do. Being a salmon farmer, I get to play in boats every day. Wonderful business. Oh, the man in the gondola, how you doing? All right. Well, he seems a friendly character. Doesn't sound very Italian to me at all. Ah, dearie dear, why do they have a monster in this pond? The Central Park monster. Well, we'll be right back with you after this. Hi, we're back in more ways than one. I shall cast myself up on this Friendly shore. Hello, Des. Can you give me a lift out? I spy a cup of coffee looming, which is a grateful. Uh, ah, terrific. While I go and get my cup of coffee, I want you to listen to a track from our new album, which is called Crest of a Knave. The album, not the track. The track is called Steel Monkey. Terrific. I'm going to be a star. <laughs> Hi, that was the wonderful Los Lobos with the equally wonderful La Bamba, a song which I seem to remember from my three chord days. Ah, my cup of coffee. And what's your name, young lady? Natalie. Do have a seat, Natalie. Now look, okay. you waitress here, right? Yes. But you don't look like a waitress, does she, boys and girls? You look more like a, an obstetrician, no, no, a dentist, no, no, bank manager, no. What do you really do? Um, I'm an actress. An actress. Well, now, we didn't <laughs> expect that, did we, folks? And you do a little modeling as well, is that yes, right? Yes. Where do you model, apart from here? Oh, around town. And do you watch MTV in your spare time? Oh, yes, all the time. Really? What do you think of MTV? Oh, I think it's wonderful. If you could do one thing to change the face of MTV that didn't involve any rude here and there, ladies and gentlemen. What would you do? What would you like to see MTV really do? Um, I'd like to see them have you on it 24 hours a day. Oh, I'm just overwhelmed. Natalie, that's the nicest thing anyone said to me all night. I'm going to give Natalie a kiss while we pause for this message. <laughs> Tonight's guest VJ Hour is sponsored by Michelob and by Back with Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull on MTV and a very useful adjunct to any actress's career is the ability to read perfectly with beautiful diction what we quaintly term as the back announcement, Natalie. On the cue card, please. We've been listening to Voodoo Child by Jimi Hendrix. We certainly were. <laughs> and we're going to go and take a little row around the place. Lovely to be with you. See you soon. Come on, Natalie. May I call you Nats? Yes, I maybe. like Nats, that's good. After you, Nats, in we go. Splendid. Ah. There we go. And off we sail into the sunset. Isn't this wonderful, Des? Just you and me and Nats. <laughs> what a wonderful end to the day. Isn't it great? Nice. We'll turn around and wave to the camera. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Right. What time do you finish? <laughs> <laughs>